Hey guys, today I will be talking about the new Superman show called Superman and Lewis. And, um, you know, pretty much uh, compared to other DC superhero shows, it looks way different. And it looks like a movie, the way they shot it. Um, the scene, the CGI uh, is definitely a better quality show uh, CW has produced so far, I would say, in terms of like a superhero show. Uh, uh, some people say it looks like it belongs to HBO Max and maybe they might have some kind of a partnership you know with CW to produce this show but it definitely looks like a really good show I mean it's never been something like I mean I've watched most if not all the DC animated uh, movies and including the the TV shows as well and obviously the most recent uh, was the Small Will um, and this, something like this has never been done where they're showing his family, he's a father, he has, you know, kids kids that are going to, you know, high school. Um, and he's just, his family dynamic with his superhero life and his work, you know, it's it's very different than anything that we have seen so far in terms of uh, Superman related. Um, my main thing is, it's a good show, definitely. My my main thing is, uh, the actor who played Superman. He he doesn't have the essence, like, you know, he, you know, obviously he's he's small, you know, compared to like Tom Welling. Like, if there's a picture out there when they did the whole Crisis on Infinite Earth, he looks way smaller, you know, compared to like Tom Welling. But he's decent. I, I will say for this show, he's pretty decent uh, in terms of just acting. Or you know, for me, he doesn't he doesn't have that aura, or he doesn't you know he doesn't look like Superman. But he's he's he, he's doing a decent job of Superman, I would say, and he's an okay Clark Kent too. Um, but in terms of the whole show itself, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good Superman show, I would say. Um, and obviously, you know, you know, when the show opens, it basically starts out with, uh, you know, his, him just narrating about his, um, you know, uh, you know, how he basically come to earth, you know, the spaceships open, you know, you can see the, the parents and his younger self, you know, and then they have like a tribute to like Smallville, you know, where he's in Smallville and his father, sort of passes his father passes away and he's crying um you know i mean i watched smallville i mean smallville for for its years it was it was a pretty decent show i mean they should have with that show they should have turned it into a superman show but they never done that so it's, it sort of became repetitive at least for my taste but it kind of you know sh shadowed that a little bit smallville and then Obviously, you know, there's a scene where Superman is, uh, you know, saving the car. Uh, it's a green car and it's, it's basically, you know, for the fan, it's like, oh, you know, that's like when the first Superman show uh, cartoon or even the comic, the action comic, the way he put, you know, put the car down. Um, and then obviously they show his daily planet and he, how he meets Lewis and he's working on it, you know, in Daily Planet, he tells her that he's Superman, and, you know, it kind of shows pretty much, and they get married, pretty much, and then, obviously, he has kids, and, you know, so there's going to be a relationship between his kids as well, John and, I believe, the other kid name is Jonathan, if I'm not mistaken, and, you know, they show, like, how, uh, you know, there's a there's a scene where there's a nuclear meltdown. I thought the sh the the scene was very well done. It reminded me of like a Man of Steel, the way he you know shows up. You know the way his uh you know speeding like there's like a boost like a uh, like a turbo uh, when he's flying and and then he melts his eye. You know melt the ice. Uh, it's the special effects are pretty good for the CW show. I would say. It's very high quality, um, and 
you know, basically he's doing his thing. Again, it felt like you were watching a movie the way they shot it. It looks really good in that way. Um, and then uh, pretty much, you know, they show his life in Metropolis. You know, how he's, uh, you know, juggling between kids. Um, and his one of his son is playing uh, the Injustice game, I believe. And he doesn't like S Superman. I don't understand that logic either. I mean, I mean, imagine if you're living at the time where Superman is there. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool, right? Um, and then you know he's talking to his mother. You know there are scenes that he's talking to his mother, and you know, and pretty much everybody, you know, is getting laid off in uh, Daily Planet, even Clark Kent himself, <laughs> and uh, he f finds out uh, about his mother is about to pass, you know, his mother die, and then he thinks back about his memory when his father passed away, and it just kind of shows you, and then there's a scene where they all are back in the Smallville, and obviously he meet La La Lang, you know, and you know how they used to date during high school and stuff you know they talk about that a little bit and then um you know there is a scene where the kids you know they find the spaceship um in his uh you know it reminded me of smallville like i said uh at the barn i would say in the barn you know when they're in the barn they they find the, the the spaceship and they never really talk about the whole the, that crystal thing but I think that's probably a way to get into uh, 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 um, you know where Superman home is uh, was it called uh, fortitude of solitude nope let me look that up One second. Fortress of Solitude. There you go. It looked like Fortress of Solitude. Like it could be the the a key or some kind of. But this is just me, just uh, uh, you know, assuming. And then, you know, there's a guy that, that you know that is basically taunting him. He says, "I know who you are. I know your, you know, your Superman and whatnot." And uh, uh, I miss one thing, you know, when he reveals himself to his son and they're like disappointed. They're like, you lie to us. I always find that to be the same reaction with everyone. Like, I mean, he's Superman, obviously. You know, he he has to hide his identity. I mean, imagine if your family member or a, or a father was a Superman. I would be psyched. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. But there always seems to be disappointed. Like, you lied to us. You didn't tell us who you were. And, you know, he just shows his ability. He picks up his truck. He flies. And, uh, and uh, you know, pretty much that's that's it. And they're all, like, upset at him. They're like, oh, you, didn't, you, you hid it from us. You didn't trust us, whatever. And then the fight happens between the Captain Luther, which 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 is eventually the reveal at the end of the episode. Mm, uh, uh, you know the fight is pretty good. You know between uh, those two, like I said, the budget it's it's really good on this show. And then his son it goes to the bonfire, and then obviously he gets into a fight, and then he uses his. Um, ability is um, heat vision um, and then they show him fighting this uh, this uh, Captain Luther it's a good fight it's a decent fight and it's only like two three minutes I believe and then you know he basically stabs him with the with the kryptonite and then he he you know goes back down to the earth for some reason he doesn't finish him but then they just show him that I guess maybe that's just the plot you know that he's gonna continue later and they show him that he's goes back to his 
ship to collect more kryptonite. Um, like I said, the overall show looks really good. I would continue to watch it for what it is, for what it is worth. Um, and you know, this is something I feel like Smallville could have translated translated into. I mean. Obviously now these special effects is way different and everything, but uh, I would have loved to seen you know the cast from that show sort of moving forward with the story rather than you know having them. I mean he's not a bad Superman. He's okay. Uh, sometimes because sometimes I feel like he's he's obviously petted, but sometimes I just feel like he's just a guy in a costume. Like he's a he's his Clark is decent, uh, the Lois is okay, but the story overall story and the overall show itself, it's is I'm definitely gonna continue to watch. Um, yeah, I would love to see how they show other villains like maybe Dark Side, Brainiac, uh, Bizarro. Parasite, um, Lobo, you know, I would love to see how they, how they show, but like I said, the overall, the show looks really good, and it doesn't look like it's connected to any other CW show, uh, I don't think, I, I think it's, it's a different universe itself, that's, that's why I'm having this feeling that it's not connected to any other you know, Flash, or... I know there are opinions out there where they are saying yes, and they might do a crossover. Uh, but to me, it seems like a completely different show in itself. Um, a different universe. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely better than any other, in my opinion, uh, superhero show that has been pre produced in a recent memory. Uh you know and uh yeah i you know i'll see what happens and uh uh it was definitely kept me hooked you know i didn't get bored it was you know it was very interesting so yes yeah, for its worth is worth it's a really good show i definitely recommend checking it out um and giving it a shot um but Definitely, I would have preferred a different Superman. I would have preferred maybe like Brandon Routh coming back or Tom Belling sort of taking over, um, you know, that role. But in terms of like Superman, if I were to characterize him, he's definitely the least of my of my favorite. You know, he's probably like at the bottom of the list. Uh, his Clark Kent is decent. I think Tom Belling did a be better job. Dean Kane was decent in some ways. Uh, but Christopher Reeve obviously is the top one. Brendan Rod is pretty good. Uh yeah, that's that's it. That's my only my my only issue that I he doesn't look he doesn't he's a very too small to be Superman. Um, you know, compared to the other actors that have portrayed him and I heard the rumor that he was at one point was considered for Man of Steel. Uh, you know, he was uh, against um, Henry Cavill. Obviously, Henry Cavill is, is way bigger and a lot better Superman uh, in terms of his physique and everything. And a lot of people, they compare about Tyler Shades, like he doesn't shave. They're like, why? You know, he looks like a Superman from Superman 3 when he got drunk. Um, I guess... It really doesn't bother me, but like I said, to me, he doesn't look like, he doesn't have the presence, he doesn't have the essence. You know, when you look at Christopher Reeve in a Superman costume, you'll just smile. Tom Welling, when you see Tom Welling, you're like, oh my god, yeah, we want to see him. Brandon Routh, when he, when he, you know, put the suit on, everybody was just like smiling. But him is just, I mean, his first suit was atrocious in Supergirl it looks so bad so it's definitely a step in a step up in the right direction but like I said for for what is worth it's definitely 
uh, a show that is way different than what they produce. It looks like a movie, you know, the good CGI, you know. I mean, it's great, man. I mean, 10, 20 years ago, that's something, you know, you only you wish that, that you would see. I mean, I remember watching Smallville. I was like, yeah, you know, when would he become Superman? You know, I want to see a Superman in the screen. And, you know, in the end, we just got, like, a CGI Superman. But here, you know, you have... You have more than what you hoped for, you know, back in the day. So definitely worth checking out. Um, and let me know what you guys think. And you guys have a good day. Thanks. Please do subscribe and like my channel if you enjoy the videos and comment. Thank you and have a good day.